Oh boy, the ice world is giving me a lot of long, long levels. I know for sure that this one is an auto scroll because Cloud World is basically Cloud World. And man, oh man, it, it just it just brings me back because I like the ice, the, uh, the, the art style of this world. I'm just making noises again. Those let's play noises that everyone makes that they have to scream to their entire, like, childish fan base. God damn, what is wrong with me? I am incapable of doing the most basic things and I don't know how this is gonna pan out. I know that for, for sure that this section is gonna be three freaking minutes in total. So yeah, that is wonderful because I love it when things are three minutes long and make me waste my time because then I have no other choice but to wait. I like all, I like this game, I do. It's just I feel like some levels linger on a little bit too long, especially this one. And that just kind of ruins my mojo because usually I'm just kind of trying to get through games fast paced, which I guess is bad. When I play games on my own, I take my time. When I play games for, you know, the channel, I, I don't take my time, if that makes sense. <sighs> really, I didn't kill it. That kind of makes me sad. I want to basically do things as much as I can in 10 minutes, so it doesn't- it feels like there's progress and it feels like I'm not wasting anyone's time, if that makes any sort of sense. Sometimes I do waste, like, time, but it's only, like, in the last minute. If I basically beat a level at 9 minutes, I'm not gonna go- I can't- I can't see myself, because all these guys are throwing eggs at me, like baseball guys, oh god. Are these, like, um... Chucks before they're Chucks? That actually would make a lot of sense. So, I, I, I kind of want to do like a mini speed run of Super Mario World for the GBA again, because apparently, like, I almost, if I didn't take a break between episodes, I could have beaten a world record. That would have been awesome, because then that means I'd be on a list of people who have a world record. That'd be great. Thank you, guy who commented, aka my friend, aka Bullseye. I feel bad because I, I don't talk to him as much as I used to anymore. I feel like the whole Minecraft bit was just a fad on my channel. It's just in general. And I, 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 god damn, these Lakitus are just fucking like, you know, eating my heart out and, and it's basically gonna kill me. So I have to play a lot more games, but I have a, like a list and I'm gonna go through a list of games I wanna play for 2017 at the end of 2016, so like I have like generally something to do next year if I'm not being another useless piece of waste of life on planet Earth, which is probably gonna be the normality for me for a while. Also, black bars. I just realized that I had never talked about them. That's just how the game operates. There's just black bars. You are trying to kill me. Is this over yet? Jesus Christ. Three and a half minutes is how long this auto scroll section is. God damn, it is the worst. Like, it is the worst. It took up half the episode. Or at least it's gonna take up half the episode. And. Wasn't there a guy there? I actually don't know at all, which is mightily unfortunate. Hey, Mr. Baseball Man, throw your your thing at me so I can actually progress in this level. That'd be very grandiose of you. You too, Mr. Baseball Man. Like sports in general are like alien to me because I don't I don't play sports. I'm not a very sporty person yet. I have like. The structure of a basketball oh god. Oh my god. That is actually kind of scary because I almost freaking died to my own incompetence. When I say alien, I mean I wish I was more athletic, but I don't put in the effort to be more athletic, so it it's just me being like, man, I want to be like fit and buff and shit with like a six pack and and a really good body to look at if I ever go to the beach or something. And then I realize I'm just a basement dwelling nerd who plays video games all day. So yeah, that's not gonna happen. I don't have the, I don't dedicate myself to other things. I only dedicate myself to playing video games. <laughs> Is that sad? I feel like it's a sad thing to talk about, but it's, it's the reality of many people. Like, 
I have a friend on on Steam. I, I consider him a good friend. I consider like all all of these people good friends, even though I don't I barely talk to them as much. Oh my god, I wasn't paying attention and I think I didn't fuck myself over. Wow, that was that was the nicest save ever. I didn't die, okay. He I, I was talking about this to him in a Twitch chat, cause like me and him and all the other people that I talk to like frequent the same Twitch chat, and I, I really know these people because I've, I've been their Steam friends for like a few years now, and um he, he's a nurse and he's really freaking awesome, and he just got married recently, so congratulations to him. It's something I'm probably never gonna do because I'm a loser. And uh, these birds, anyways. Part of me was saying like, man, how do you not see the problem when you gain like over 300 pounds and then you just like constantly keep gaining weight? And he told me like, mental illness is part of like the equation. You have to realize that. So I just felt like super shitty because I just, I forgot it. I forgot that mental illness plays a fact, a huge factor into a lot of these like problems that a lot of people have and. So, like, part of me is just like, yeah, I have... Am I going backwards? Why am I going backwards? Oh, it's fine. Maybe I can skip it by... God, the, the screen doesn't like to scroll in the direction I can't see, so this is... Oh god, I'm gonna die. Oh god. Oh no. Did I fuck myself? I hope I didn't, because I literally... Never mind, I didn't fuck myself. Give me that Mr. Shy Guy! Mental illness is not a funny thing to basically make fun of, and I, as much as I do stupid shit on my channel, and it's something I don't want to touch because I don't like wishing disease or death upon certain people because that is a terrible thing to wish upon somebody. Like, what I would do is I would wish, wish them a mild inconvenience, like, you have to go through like, I don't know, fucking 20 minutes of traffic before you get to your next location. That's that's fine. Whatever, who cares? That doesn't hurt them. But, like, wishing somebody with cancer is terrible. Like, Jesus Christ, come on. You're better than that. Be better than that. It's not hard to not be a dick. Oh my god, this is... I don't know what I'm doing in these levels. These are just confusing... Oh, no, I... Kind of... Remember, can I, like, go on a rock, please? Because that'd be very appreciative. Everything in this level's breaking down to its very molecule, and I don't know where I'm going. Okay, I, I guess I'm just gonna go down, and you, I'm gonna eat you, because you're, you're... Everything in this game is just, like, edible for some reason. Yoshi must have, like, a stomach, like, a fucking something. I, I don't know how to describe it. I'm gonna try the next level, because I have two minutes still, and I want to keep going. Because I don't want to- I don't- I don't- I don't know what I'm talking about. It's- it's a wonderful experience. We're all gonna enjoy it together. That's all I want to say. This is supposed to be a- like- a, Oh shit, that's the- wait, really? It's the boss? Huh. Okay, fuck it. Let's- let's- let's do this. I'm sure I'm not gonna regret this. Raphael, the Raven's Castle. And, you know, Raphael the Raven is- He's a guy who's black and a raven who's also a bird and some of these levels are just really innovative. Now we're- I, I've just realized like we're super high up. Yoshi, you're not- like do you even know where you're going? I feel like Yoshi literally has no clue where he's going. He's just kind of like running about and is basically, you know, really a fucking- gosh darn- oh my god. Like, every- did it sink in a way that I can't- You are dying, I don't like you anymore. Like, you- at, at first I thought you were funny, I thought you were clever, but now you're just annoying, and that is just- I don't have the dexterity for certain levels, like this one, especially. Like, oh god, okay, come on. Uh, I don't know where I'm going. Yoshi is like a confused dinosaur. Who doesn't want to hear the- I- I'm so fucking glad, honestly, that they fucking got rid of Baby Yoshi, or Baby Mario, and I want that middle ring, but it doesn't feel worth it, so I'm just gonna be like, fuck it, let's just move on to the next position in our lives, which is 
not gonna be next time on Yoshi's Island. We're just gonna keep going. Because I'm never gonna stop this episode. Well, I mean, I'm gonna stop this episode. It's just I'm never gonna stop. Really? Like, that has got to be, like, the... Oh, God. The biggest pile of bullshit. Can I fucking get the stupid whiny bitch baby that is Mario? Because that'd be... Well, that'd be actually, like, magically wonderful, but no, everything in this game has to be, like, 90% more complicated than it actually is! I except it's not, because this game is actually really very simple, and I'm just having the most basic of trouble because I am impatient and incompetent. There, I said it, so you don't have to say it anymore. Hooray! Everything I am doing is... I... I'll take criticism. I honestly do. Like... I'll read your comments to see... God, everything that wants me dead. I can somewhat handle criticism. It's just I, I need like a few days to process it. Sometimes the criticism will be good for me. Other times it's just like, oh, you're shit. And, and if you don't explain why, well then fuck. Like, what the hell? That's, that's, not, that's not criticism. It's just saying you're shit. There's a difference be between being an asshole and giving constructive criticism. And, it's like, that is one of them. I don't know where I'm going. Is, was that the, did I go through, did I go through a middle ring? I don't remember. This is a boss that has caused me minor trouble. But it is one of my favorite bosses in this game. Mainly based on the context that, like, you go to the moon, and then you do this, like, Mario Galaxy stuff before Mario Galaxy. And that is... Honestly, super magical. I just realized I lost my- Uh-oh. 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 I think I just saw something. Oh no, is this level gonna be glitched? Is this part of the level gonna be glitched? Cause that wouldn't be good. Not for me. I want this to be like, a decent viewing experience. No, it's not a, it's not glitched. Okay. Well, that's- that's fine. I just gotta, you know, time myself. And I'm basically gonna wait for Mr. God damn. I don't understand the dexterity of speedrunners sometimes. I, I've said that like, maybe like 80 fucking bajillion times. And you guy, can you hurry up, Mr. Guy, please? Okay, I missed again. I'm gonna miss. Okay, well, I didn't miss that time because he literally stood over it. Alright. Three, two, I missed again. You, Mr. Come on, Raven, Raphael, be a bro. I, I missed again. I am just not in a timing mood today, aren't I? Okay, well that was very simple. Next time on Yoshi's Island, um, we'll do World 6. That'll be fun. Maybe. I, uh, um, okay, yeah, that's, that's, that's magical. Did, did I miss something? I feel like Yoshi in... The GBA version always... Okay, whatever. Next time.